In this video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot if you're not getting readings from your Fishhawk probe on your Fishhawk display. First, we're going to start by inspecting the probe. Make sure that the O-rings are in place, both on the probe body and in the cap. Then look for any cracks. Now we'll check out the battery pack. Give the pack a gentle tug to make sure it's adhered to the inside of the probe. If it comes out, please refer to the battery pack replacement video. Check your batteries with a multimeter or start with four fresh AA batteries. Triple check battery polarity because the probe will power on but won't send a signal if three of the four batteries are in correctly. Place wet fingers across the metal points at the front of the probe. Look for a flashing LED every 10 seconds indicating that the probe has power. Okay, now we've got probe power, so next let's check the display. Press the set button one time. Make sure that the gain is set at 15 or higher. Gain is the receiver sensitivity, so if you're losing probe readings when you're fishing deep, trolling faster than normal, or if the water is rough, increase the gain setting. We also want to check that the buttons are responding properly by pressing the up and down arrow key. A quick press of the power button brings you back to the home screen. Okay, now we're going to see if the probe is sending a signal. Remember, just because the probe powers up doesn't mean it's sending a signal. The easiest way to do this is to unplug the transducer from the back of the display while the power is off. Turn the display on and activate the probe. Hold it directly under the display for 30 seconds. If the probe is sending a signal, the decimal points will flash once and a probe temperature reading will appear on the screen. That tells us that the probe is sending a signal. If you don't see a probe temperature number on screen, complete the service request form on the Fishhawk Electronics website and follow the return instructions. Another good troubleshooting method is what we call the mix and match game. And what that means is if you've got a buddy that also has a Fishhawk system and it doesn't have to be the same model, Simply run your probe on their boat or vice versa and the simple process of elimination should identify the problem. For more troubleshooting information, visit the service support pages at fishhawkelectronics.com.